What's up? How are you guys today? Doing something a little different. I'm going to show you 10 foods that I've been getting from Whole Foods, whether it's something I eat every day or maybe something that I'll just enjoy when I'm in a rush and have not eaten all day. And for the most part, these foods are minimally inflammatory. They fit my current diet, but you know, they're not necessarily the best or exactly that affordable. So we'll start with the things that I eat pretty frequently and are acceptable to me on a daily basis. And then towards the end, we'll do the other things. So uh, you guys have seen these a lot in my recent day of eatings, organic udon noodles. And I like these because regular pasta is made with durum wheat semolina, which can be high in anti-nutrients. It's inflammatory. It's not that great for your liver, but this pasta is made from hard red winter wheat, which is basically white flour. They hull it. They grind it up, removing that outer shell reduces the anti-nutrient content. So if I want to enjoy noodles, I really like this as an easy, quick carbohydrate source, only a few minutes in boiling water, but it is low in fiber. So I try to add uh, like some bean puree or have some extra apples or, or something else in the meal to keep that motility going. But these are very, very good, excellent, completely organic. I have this and a lot of the other stuff on my Amazon shop. Um, it does get a little expensive using like the bottled water to boil these every day, plus the cost of it. But hey, you, know, you can't be healthy and be cheap at the same time. Uh, next up, we have organic cannellini beans. Obviously, it's better if you can just get the raw beans, soak them yourself and boil them. But uh, they do have these cardboard containers, which I'm guessing are a little bit less full of toxins than the regular aluminum cans. And really any white bean, or I got something in my eye, guys, probably my eyelash or something. Any sort of a white bean, whether it's cannellini beans, butter beans, or navy beans are very, very minimally inflammatory. They're great for detoxing the liver, excellent source of fiber, and most people should really be having them in their diet every single day. I mean, especially considering they are a good source of balanced minerals that you don't typically get, whether it's molybdenum, manganese, boron. Beans are excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, this is probably the most important food to have in your diet here that we're going over today. Next up, uh, I guess we can do the coconut aminos, which is basically a soy sauce substitute, a healthy version. Uh, they take the coconut tree sap, uh, they ferment it, and add a little bit of sea salt. So it has the saltiness, it has the sweetness, and it has that kind of slight umami flavor. Obviously soy sauce, you know, does taste a little better, but this is healthy. You can use it every day. It's minimally inflammatory and it's really for taste. So if you're making like some type of Chinese or Japanese style recipe, this is really where you would use it. You could take like slices of raw beef and dip it in this. It's really, really, really delicious. I'm a big fan of these. I've been using them for years, although not necessarily that often, maybe only a few times a month because, you know, sometimes I crave it. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I'm doing recipes, but for the most part, uh, I usually just put a little bit of salt on my food. And I guess next up in frequency uh, would probably be this apple cinnamon oatmeal, which is just convenient, you know, sprouted. Well, maybe not sprouted, but just organic steel cut oats that you make yourself are also very, very good. This is just super convenient and it's pretty minimal ingredient. Oats, cane sugar, dehydrated apples, natural flavors, cinnamon and sea salt. Only thing I don't like in here is cinnamon. Um, I'm assuming they're not adding that much because cinnamon can be pretty inflammatory to the liver and the natural flavors usually aren't that bad. Uh, so to have this a few times a week, you know, it's definitely not the end of the world and, and making something similar to this yourself might be a little time consuming and difficult. And then we have sauerkraut. Uh, this is the brand I like. Uh, the other brands have like caraway in them and some other seasonings that aren't too tasty because this is just cabbage and sea salt. It's lacto fermented, which means they just put salt on the cabbage, let it ferment for you know a few days to a few weeks, and then the product is finished. You know, I put this on sandwiches sometimes. I'll put it on hot dogs, mix it into various things. Um, you could even have it just as like a side dish on your plate. Like if you're having steak with rice and beans, you can put a little sauerkraut on there too, or use the sauerkraut as your source of fiber if you're willing to eat uh, quite a bit of it. But this is something that I would consider eating every day. That's very, very, very healthy. Probiotic content isn't super high, 
but it, it's definitely minimally inflammatory and very, very good for you. So I guess next up, uh, we can talk about some of the fruit. We have some golden raisins. Uh, you know, the darker color the food is, usually the higher anti-nutrient content. So, you know, like red wines or red grapes or black grapes are going to be worse for you than something lighter colored like these golden raisins. But you also want to be mindful of the sugar content and not overeat these. But they're a very, very good source of minerals. You know, even just looking on the back, plenty of potassium, a little bit of iron, and they do have all the other plant-based minerals too, like boron. So, you know, having a handful of raisins, even every day uh, like this, is just really, really good for you, and there's no reason you should not. Uh, what's not as great, I guess, uh, this is a dehydrated pineapple. Um, I mean, I guess it's okay still. It's just a little concentrated in sugar because of the way they make this, but it's only pineapple. So it's similar to the raisins in a sense that it's pure fruit. It just, to me, these are a little more palatable and it's very easy to overeat these and they're not as satiating, but I guess the only downside of these is it might get a little bit expensive if you wanna have a few of them at once, but still an excellent, excellent product. And I guess the, the plastic contact with the food is a little high compared to the other stuff here because it's just like all plastic. And the raisins, yeah, there's plastic, but they're not like vacuum sealed to the plastic. And I don't think any of the other products here really have that much plastic content because some of them are in glass and uh, the rest of them are in kind of aluminum or something else. So next up we have the organic, better than bouillon, roast beef base. And I was very surprised when I looked at the ingredient list on this because there's usually something that just makes me omit it as something acceptable to include in my diet. So we do have the collagen bone broth on Frankie syringe meat and I almost always make uh, a reinforced one by adding more roasted meat to it and having a super flavorful, healthy like broth and soup to eat every day for vitamins and amino acids. However, if I feel like adding more flavor to it or if I don't have that and I wanna add a little flavor to something, this is okay. Again, I've only used it a handful of times but you know, roasted beef, salt, cane sugar, maltodextrin, garlic powder, yeast extract, celery juice concentrate, food starch, onion powder, caramel color, natural flavor. You know, it doesn't have vegetable seed oils in it. It doesn't have like palm oil in it. It doesn't have all these like really, really bad negative things in it. So it's pretty good. The taste isn't amazing, you know, but you know, for the price, what you're getting, the convenience, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad if you wanna add some quick flavor to something and maybe use it a few times a month. Kind of surprised with that product. Uh, then we have, I guess, something that's more on the enjoyable end. Uh, this is Poppy, uh, prebiotic soda, ginger lime. And, you know, when they have probiotic drinks in the supermarket, you can just assume the bacteria is dead and it's not really an effective probiotic. That's why we have, you know, we have some ginger water kefir here from Frankie's Strange Meat. That's a very live, active probiotic that will heal your gut. This stuff, I just drink it because I kind of like it. Obviously, the aluminum can is kind of a no-go, but you know they have filtered water, organic apple cider vinegar, organic sugar, lime juice, lemon juice, natural flavors, and stevia. So if you just want something quick to drink at the supermarket or Whole Foods that's tasty, the poppy ginger lime soda is okay. The other flavors they have do have some kind of inflammatory ingredients in them, which is why we have the ginger lime here. And there's also another... Uh, company called Kavita that makes a probiotic drink as well. I don't like promoting them because, you know, they're using the name Kavita and they're making water kefir, but it's not really water kefir. So they're kind of being misleading in their marketing, implying that their drink has a probiotic effect, which it really doesn't. That's why, you know, I drink this water kefir every day. Although if I'm in a rush and just want something besides water to drink at Whole Foods, the poppy probiotic soda or the Kavita um, probiotic drink and like lemon ginger, that's what I've had on occasion. And I guess last but not least is Bella Codfish in extra virgin olive oil. Haven't really had this, but a lot of you guys talk about canned fish and convenience. And I saw this in the store and if you're going to get any sort of canned fish to me, the only thing really acceptable is cod. You know, it's leaner. It, probably not storing as many toxins. So if you're gonna eat one type of fish on occasion that's not like caviar or salmon roe, this isn't bad, you know? If you had two of these maybe alongside some rice or some starch for lunch, then 
you know, the only real concern here is possibly the histamine content because it's just cod, olive oil, garlic, onion, and sea salt. You, you definitely want to rinse the oil off of these, but not a bad choice for canned fish and for convenience. Uh, so there's 10 things. No oh, man, I need to drink some water. Yeah, guys, I'm either freezing my balls off in this apartment or I can't breathe because of the dry heat. So that's, you know, a few products that you guys probably haven't seen in all of my days of eating that I am including in my diet that, you know, you might like uh, and enjoy to add some variety. So some of these are available on my Amazon shop, amazon.com slash Frank Tufano. And, you know, hopefully uh, we can get some sort of meal plan out soon. This is like the type of stuff that does require the kind of in-depth health knowledge and nutritional understanding to really weed through everything at the grocery store and pick out what's not going to, you know, mess up your stomach or your liver. Uh, but hopefully, you know, you guys can continue to support me through all of my businesses. And then, you know, we have, you know, enough money and a, enough of a platform to, you know, I can get someone to help me out with my book and we can uh, start, you know, kind of helping people with the new diet. But that's still a ways away, probably at least a few years. And you guys can go to frank com if you do want to support me further. So, as usual, guys, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks for joining, guys, and I'll see you soon.